Kenosha residents and volunteers are cleaning up more damage today. Our Ryan Jenkins shows us their effort as city crews fear some of the protesting will turn violent again tonight. Overnight criminals smashing windows, vandalizing vans like this one, and even burning cars like this car behind me still smoldering this morning. This is just a piece of the destruction that neighbors in Kenosha are trying to clean up. And they tell me what's happening overnight is not a representation of the Kenosha that they know and love. I just figured I'd come out this morning and this was the closest area. Megan Shear grabbed her bucket full of cleaning supplies and headed to this car lot on the corner of 63rd and Sheridan ready to help out after the third night of unrest and rioting following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. This isn't us. This isn't who we are. Just a mile away, downtown, a mix of volunteers and city crews cleaned Civic Center Park, the epicenter for protesting outside the Kenosha County Courthouse. We don't want to see our city destroyed. Trent Barnhart stopped by to help clean on his way to work. He's one of many people who live here trying to do their part to restore the city they love so dearly while also calling for systemic change and encouraging peaceful protests. I feel like a lot of our citizens of Kenosha are, are the ones that are coming out in the day doing the peaceful protest. That stuff is important to us. Cleaning up the community is important to us as well because there's a lot of pride in this community. Kenosha Park Superintendent Jeff Warnock appreciates the help. To have them come out and help means quite a bit to us. Uh, there are volunteers over here that I don't even know where they came from. He says he and his crew are exhausted and frustrated as they try to stay ahead of the destruction. It's a mess. We're anticipating this again. The Kenosha County Board of Supervisors has sent a letter to Governor Evers asking for more support protecting infrastructure here. They're asking the governor to request 1,500 more members of the National Guard from President Trump to help prevent destruction like this in Kenosha County. Reporting in Kenosha, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.